Hey guys, I get message after message from Alpha Investment Patreons, fans, fanboys, whatever, lemmings, whatever they call themselves nowadays, and they have major regret buying these cards. The economy, even though Joe Biden says it's doing really well, is not doing very well, and the last thing you need right now is more MetaZoo cards or more cards in general now that being said if you are a player you must love it man if you are a player and you avoided the whole collector phase of the game you're buying cards for 50 60 70 percent off um how can you not love it right these are cards that you actually need in your deck and that you will get value from using now one thing i want to uh, make sure that you guys understand is everything is kind of dead right now the whatnot market is dead you know, backyard breaks who could easily get a thousand viewers at one time can no longer even break uh, a few hundred, right? I it's crazy to me how fast things have changed. Card shops selling Vivid Voltage for eighteen dollars a pack can't sell it for two dollars or three dollars a pack now. Um, and this goes on, and you can go on and on and on. I'm on the Dave and Adams website, and you got uh, Brothers War Draft Booster Boxes at 84 a box. You got Double Masters 2022 Collector's Booster at 59 You got uh, Uninfinity Draft, which is one of my most hated sets, at $85 a box. This is below distribution rate. Distributor rate, there are stores just trying to offload as much as they can before a nightmare disaster then you got rudy chan telling people that they should buy a case of return to ravnica returned ravnica remastered that is just not financially responsible it is not a good idea um the reason it's not a good idea i'm looking at these card prices right now on david adams and everything is just they're fire selling Anything they can get their hands on, they are discounting like there is no tomorrow. Even Marvel Anime is being discounted. That's a really cool set, by the way. If you like Marvel cards, Eternals, the Eternals hobby. Let me, like $50, if I can get an autograph guaranteed, then I will take it. So one, uh, one autograph. Yeah, so I guess I get one autograph per box. So Kit Herodang, Barry, Con Bill... I don't know any of these guys. Who are these people? Where's the... Um... Oh, there's no Angelina Jolie. Okay, that, that explains it. Okay, there's no Angelina Jolie autograph. Otherwise, <laughs> this box would be a lot more expensive. I was like, man, you, you pay $50 a chance to get, you know, 1 in 10 chance to get Angelina Jolie. Oh, you're just printing money. But anyway, things, you know, garbage, pale kids, things, Meadow Zoo. Maybe <laughs> we really need to talk about Meadow Zoo. Return to the Jedi. These things are all 60, 70, 80% off. LeBron James card, our hobby boxes, Space Jam is $40. They used to sell for $100. I'm sorry, Backyard Break sells it for like $5,000 or something like that. Magic is very, very, even uh, Ixlon, the set booster is $120. And we got the, uh, and no one's buying this stuff because like on David Adams, it shows you the, like, a low bar. Man, like it is rough right now for card game stores and people investing in this product. I mean, it's being dumped like there ain't no tomorrow, man. It is time to get out while you can, or at least not, not buy. That's my strategy. My strategy is really, really easy. I'm just not going to buy any of this stuff anymore. Uh, and then I'm just going to open the stuff I already have and it will be a good time and I'll have a fun with that. Magic. I mean, this stuff is just not investable anymore. I, I don't know. Like what, at what point do you like say, Hey, you know, I, I can't buy no more of this stuff. I'm getting, I got another four text messages from four different people. So trying to sell their collections right now. Um, yikes, man. They want to be like, Hey man, let's meet up <laughs> Need some cash. Like, it's exactly the same scenario with uh, Rudy's Patreon. He bought a bunch, probably upwards of, what do you think, $100,000, $200,000 of boxes from Alpha Investments over the year. And then he had to sell it back to Alpha Investments because a family emergency happened. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Money is tight, man. I don't really know. 
let me read you the number on some economy. And it's not just tight in the U.S. It's tight everywhere. Uh, these cards are, were overprinted. Uh, here, uh, Trump. Uh, I'm just reading the Washington Square Post, right? I'm, I typed in the economy. Um, U.S. farmers warn Biden's economy spells destruction. How a 2024 term could impact U.S. and world economy. The 2023 economy in a dozen charts. Yeah, let's take a look at that, man. Maybe that's what we need to look at. Uh, the U.S. labor market entered ended the year strong, creating more than 200,000 jobs in the last month. Consumer spending remained robust throughout the year with bright spots in travel and entertainment. There were some trouble areas for consumers, however, with mortgage rates high and existing home, la home sales low. So monthly job creation, U.S. unemployment rate is 3.7. Oh, so you guys should all have jobs now. Advanced retail sales looks pretty good. Inflation, hour, average hourly earning in U.S. customer index. Travelers screen at U.S. airport. More travelers than ever. 10, 12. Oh, wow. The 12 best movies. Barbie was number one. And then it became Super Mario Brothers. And then Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Guardians of Galaxy. Uh, and then Taylor Swift, all the way in the top 10. Major U.S. indexes, yeah, they made a shit ton of money this year. S&P 500, NASDAQ, Dow, yeah, man, they're crushing right now. Dow Jones, Bitcoin, yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's making a lot of money. If you bought in at the low at 15758 it's 42000 You doubled, so there should be a lot of money. I don't know why people are selling their collections then. Hmm. Very interesting. Existing home sales is very low, though. There are very few homes on sale. So I guess if you wanted to sell your home, now would be a good time. Uh, Putin's unsustainable spending spree. How the war in Ukraine. Oh, yeah, I forgot that there's a war in Ukraine. How could we forget? Global 2024 outlook for society, technology. Like Everyone is worried about the economy. I just pulled up this, like, and there's like 8 million different articles about the economy in 2024. I guess it makes sense because we're entering 2024. Um, yikes, my dudes. It's a uh, big yikes. And I, I definitely think in terms of investing in cards, that idea is dead right now. Could it go back? Yeah, absolutely. It could go back, right? But right now, no one should be buying, as Rudy would say, no one should be buying, right? Um, no one should be buying this much magic cards as an investment if they cannot hold for at least 10 years and who knows will magic the gathering be around for 10 years who knows again um i do believe that in time um in time the economy will get better maybe after an election maybe but Right now, I think it's still crashed. I mean, I'm getting dozens of messages on email and everywhere else trying, like, desperate people. These are very desperate people. I do not want to meet to buy their collections, to be quite honest with you.